Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are going to look at question 2 of the NCA Level 1 Geometric Reasoning Examination 2020. So if you have not watched question 1, please do so. And also question 3 will be done in another video. This is question 2 and let's go. Okay, so this is a part of the spider web with the hole in it. Points P, Q, R on the circumference. P, Q, R on the circumference circle with the center C. The angle P, R, C. So this angle is 25 degrees. So the first thing you need to know, you want to find the angle A. So to do that, the first thing we did is that you know that this is uh, uh, this is the radius of the circle, so they must be the same length. So if that's the case, then this angle here have to be 25 because they are the base angle isosceles triangle of a tri uh, of a triangle. They are equal, so this is 25. This must also be 25. The next thing we did is that we need to calculate angle PCR. PCR is this angle here. To get PCR, we just take 180 minus 25 minus 25 because the sum of the interior angle of a triangle add up to 180. So 180 minus 25 minus 25, they'll give you 130. So the angle here is 130 degrees. And last but not least, to calculate angle A, you should know that this is the angle at the center. This angle is double that of A. So A is half of 130. So A Angle A is 65 degrees because the rule is that angle at center is twice the angle at circumference. And that will give you an achieve in the question A. Not too bad, right? Okay, now we proceed to question B. Okay, the spider web forms a regular pentagon. When they say a regular, it means that all the sides are the same and all the angles, the interior angles are the same. So now, if you know that, you need to calculate the total, the sum of the interior angle of the pentagon. So the formula is n minus 2 times 180. And n is the number of sides because there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you take 5 minus 2 times 180. Put in your calculator, it is 540. The total is 540. But because the angles are the same, you just divide 540 divided by 5 and each angle is 108. So the angle for each of them is 108 degrees. Next, to solve your x, you should know that if this is x, this is also x because this length and this length are the same. So they are the base angle isosceles triangle are equal. So if this is x, this must also be x. So angle DCE is x because base angle isosceles triangle are equal. Once you know that, you can calculate x by using the sum of the interior angle. So 108 plus x plus x will add up to 180 because the sum of the interior angle of a triangle add up to 180. So 2x plus 108 is 180. 2x you minus 108 on both sides, so 2x equal to 72, and you halve it, x equal to 36, and again, that will give you an achieve in this paper. Okay, great. We are now going to proceed to the two merit question. Okay, the two merit question, a little bit harder, but not too bad, okay? So now, they say that in the spider web point G, H, T, S, all lies on G, S, T, H, they all lies on the circumference with the center C. F, S, G is a straight line. They are both tangent. When they say it's a tangent, you need to know that tangent to the center of the circle. So this is a tangent to the center of the circle is 90 degrees. The tangent to the center of the circle is also 90 degrees. Okay? So now, if you know this is 90 degrees, they ask you whether this line and this line are parallel. So, if they are parallel, these two angles must be the same because alternate angles or parallel lines are equal. So if this is 90 and this is 100, they are not the same. So you can claim that they are not parallel because they are not parallel as alternate angle between the parallel lines are not equal. So these two angles are different. So you can claim that they are not parallel. If you can know that, that is a merit. 
Not too bad, right? Great. Now we do the second merit question in this paper. Okay, so in the spider web, M, Q, and N all lies on the circumference of the circle with the center C. The straight line PM and PN are both tangent. Again, if they are tangent, you need to know that this is make 90 degrees to the center of the circle. Okay? Then, uh, angle MQN, so this angle here, this angle here is 108 and the length is 18. They want you to calculate the radius of the circle, so that we are going to do that. So first, what we're going to do, we know that this is 90, this is 90 because they are tangent to the center of the circle. And then now we're going to find this angle here, the reflex angle of MCN. So this is angle at center, is twice angle at circumference. So this angle is double of that. So that angle is going to be 216 degrees. So angle at center is twice the angle at circumference. Once you know that, we can calculate the inside angle of MCN. So 360 minus 216 is going to give you 144 degrees. Why? Because angle at the point add up to 360. So this whole angle is going to be 360. So 144 plus 216 is going to be 360. So the rule is that it's angle at the point equals to 360. So far so good? Okay. If this is the line that draws to the middle, so this is symmetrical. This angle and that angle is going to be the same. So each of this angle is going to be 72 degrees. So that's going to be 72 because the symmetrical half of the angle of 144 is 72. Now we are going to solve for the radius. We are going to use this triangle, the right angle triangle. So we are going to use trigonometric ratio, the so Cartoa. So if you are interested in the radius, the radius with this angle is 72. The radius is called the adjacent and 18 is going to be the opposite. So we are going to have opposite and adjacent. So we have to use tangent theta equal to opposite over adjacent. The opposite is substituted with 18 and the adjacent is rate R because there's the radius and the angle is 72. To solve this, when R is at the bottom, you swap over. R goes up, tangent 72 comes down. So your radius or your MC is equal to 18 divided by tangent 72. Put in your calculator and the answer is 5.85 and that is a merit. Okay? Do again. If you don't get it, do again. And the second time around, it will be easier. Okay, the last question is an excellent question. So we shall read the question. The spider web A, B, E, F all lies on the circumference of the circle with center C. Lines E, F, E and F, A. So F, E and F, A, these are same length. So if they are the same length, then it's an isosceles triangle. The first thing we do, we need to know that if this X, this must be also X because the base angle of isosceles triangle are equal. Next, if in a, a cyclic quad, you need to know that this and this, this is also X because they are angled on the same arc. So this and this are the same. At the same time, uh, this and this, this angle and this angle is also the same because they are angled on the same arc. So X, X, X. Got it? Yes. Now we are going to calculate W in terms of X. So the first thing we do is to calculate this angle here. That is angle uh, angle E B D. So this angle. So if this is X, this is X. So this angle plus X plus X, they must add up to 180 because they are angle on a straight line. Okay? So you solve it by minus the two X on that side. So the, this angle is going to be 180 minus two axes, okay? Now, we need to calculate this angle now, angle BED. So we use angle BED. BED is going to be, BED is going to be plus this angle, plus this angle, plus this angle, they are going to add up to 180. So BED 
plus 180 minus 2x plus y, they're going to add to 180 because the sum of the interior angle of a triangle add up to 180. So from here, you can minus 180 on both sides, so you're going to be 0 and 0. And so your angle BED, you plus 2x minus y on both sides. So BED is going to be, this angle is going to be 2x minus y. So far so good? Great. Now the last step, you want to find W. So x plus W plus this angle is going to add up to 180 because they are angle on a straight line. Can you see that? Okay, now you're going to simplify them. W plus 3x, no, sorry, W, x plus 2x is going to be 3x minus y is 180. Simplify them. W is going to be 180. You minus 3x plus y on both sides. And that will give you the answer. And that will give you an excellent. So do again. It sounds complicated, but if you keep on doing, that should be fine. Again, find x, x, x. Then you find this angle, then you find this angle, then you take 180 minus x and minus 2x minus y, and that will give you an excellent. Hope you practice hard and watch out for video number three, which will be coming out soon. Have a good day, everyone, and see you soon.